Okay, I realize that this section says optional and it is optional. Um, it does talk about Mathematica, Sage or other software packages that could be done that you could use to do these projects. Uh, the, what, what happens to some students that look at this and say, I'm not gonna bother. But the point of this is that um, you, you really need to find an interest. I'm not saying a passion, but an interest, interest in something. It doesn't have to be this though. I'm not saying it does, but an interest in something that is gonna translate to one, an enjoyable career. And two, that compensates you well enough that you're not suffering all the time, all right? I mean, there's plenty of things that people enjoy doing and they're good at it, but they're, they live insufferable lives because they can't make a living doing it, all right? But anyway, I'll read this to you. And the thing I wanna do is if I'm reading this thing over here, it says, you know, certainly I'd, I'd like to read it to you. A student came to me with this problem. I looked at it and I'll be honest with you, I'm perplexed by a lot of things. You know, people could ask me, hey, what's capital of uh, Pennsylvania? And it perplexes me. I might have to say, gee, I can't really remember. I got to look it up. And I do all the time, all the time. And the reason for that is that, you know, my, my, my mind might be in other places that I don't remember things that I've learned in the past. It happens all the time. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm not terribly engaged with this subject either. And I forget, I've forgotten a lot of mathematics. There's no doubt about that. All right, but that doesn't mean I haven't seen it before, right? Or haven't done something before. I'm often shocked when I go back and look at some old notebooks and I look at myself and I, I've done that problem. And I look at it says my penmanship. I just don't remember doing anything remotely that difficult, all right? And certainly I've written a lot of material and sometimes I, I read over material that I've written and I still can't comprehend that I really do that. I mean, I know it's me. I know how, how I write and how, how it looks, but I wonder, I, I just don't remember doing that. All right. But anyway, I'm looking this one over here. And so what I did was I, I went to a computer and, you know, the probably the easiest thing I could do is I could probably go to um, Wolfram Alpha. And by, by that, I mean, I could type this in, you know, it's a natural language. So what am I looking at? Minus one to the nth power. And I want to divide it by two N. It's almost like using Google, by the way. And I'm going to say from n equals zero to infinity. I don't know, maybe it's gonna, it's gonna choke on it. I have no idea. Wow, it got an answer, pi over four. Remarkable, it got an answer. Remarkable, I mean, I kid you not, right? So I'm just gonna say, if, if, if Wolfram Alpha can do it, I probably could do it myself, right? There's no magic behind this stuff. All right, now granted, it might take me days to figure it out, but not really, all right? So what I wanna do is over here, it says use the computer out system to calculate 20 places. So I wanna go over this with you. The reason I wanna go over this with you, you know, when you transfer to NGIT, you know, this would not be considered a difficult problem for students that know how to use a computer algebra system, but I gotta to go to the thousand now, right? You see this? So I'm just changing my N equals zero to a thousand. And let's see what it does for me. Wow, look at that. And then it gives me the decimal number to it. That's really nice. All right, so I'm gonna say, I could use Wolfram Alpha to do that, not a problem. All right, then it says, you know, use Mathematica to get the exact value. Well, you know what? I've been using Wolfram Alpha and it gave me, remember it gave me the exact, it said infinity. And make sure you know I did that before. And it turned to be pi over four. So I got these first two questions answered. Then it says, look back over your notes to see if I gave you this power series. And it says I did. And then show the mathematical results of the same. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to say that, you know, although I do like Wolfram Alpha, I use it a lot. When I say I use a lot, use a lot at Essex County College. Like it's not something I go to, you know, like I go to Google or something, or I go to Netflix or something like that. But at Essex County College, I'm teaching math course, I go there, all right? So what I wanna do is I wanna talk about using Sage. So what I like to do is I like to give you guys code. And this is the code over here. So what I wanna do is I wanna go to Sage and I wanna do that in Sage. And I'm gonna go through that. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm gonna go to my terminal. I'm in Sage. You can do this at CoCal though. You don't have to do this by installing software, but I like to install software because it's running on my machine and my machine is capable of doing this. I'm gonna 
I'm going to look at it. And someone says, why do you put reset down? I, just in case something, some junk's left over. And so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to, I'm going to define a, a variable. All right. So let me, let me do that. So I'm going to say X, you know what? In Sage, I don't have to define it X the variable. So let me just type this in, but I'll be honest with you. I get tired typing. And someone says, well, who typed your notes? I did. Every single letter in this notes has been typed up by me. Right, let's see what happens. All right, so it computed the number. Now I wanna just look back over here and I wanna to claim to you that that's the number right over here. Same number, All right? What I do, I type the sum minus one to the X power, um, you know, two X plus one, X goes from zero to a thousand. Now I wanna point out, if I did not put the digits in there, let me show you what happens. Oh, I'm sorry, there's an N over there. I'm sorry about that. I didn't see the N. And N, N means approximation. Let me just type this part in. That's just the sum. It's gonna give me that thing again. Now, did, did Wolf from Alpha do that for me? Yeah, it gave me the actual inter, integer ratio. And this is why we need to use the N notation with the number of digits we want. We want a 20. Now, if I wanted 200 digits, which would be kind of outrageous, what's it gonna do? It's gonna give you much, much higher precision on it. All right, now, again, I wanna go back and I wanna just simply say, I could probably do this one over here too. I'm just copy pasting now. And was giving me pi over four. And Sage could do it. Now, again, looking back over your notes, I wanna point out, I don't think I would know this unless I expanded it. So what I'm gonna claim over here is, if you expand this thing, you should see something. And what you should see is something that we've said before, which is the series expansion for arctangent between minus one and one. And then what do you do? Plug in one, and what do you get? You're gonna get it. You're gonna get the same number, all right? How do I know that? What's the arctan of one? Pi over four. Again, here's the deal though. What we're saying is that although this is optional, you're gonna learn something by taking options. In your own life, by the way, you want to have options. The only way you're going to have options in life is if, if the choices come up to you where you can actually take advantage of those choices, all right? Like let's someone says, I need a brain surgeon. Well, do you know how to do brain surgery? If you do, that's a nice option to have. It might be maybe you're really good with um, you know computer programming. That's a nice option to have. Maybe you're good at statistical analysis. Everything that you learn is going to provide an, um, um, uh, an option for you uh, for accepting jobs. Like you can be like, yeah, I can do this, I can do that. And uh, more importantly, uh, it, you want to choose things that uh, you enjoy. All right. So I'm going to say that's not so bad. You can do that. Right. You can do that. All right. Thank you for paying attention.